Hello friend, today I decided to fix my old Ontario Red Model 1 in D2 steel. So let's go. This is what it looked like after daily use as an EDC knife. I didn't feel sorry for it much. It went with me and the chopping of wet wood in European forests and the beaches of Asia with their salt water and sand. In general, all the liners and linings were covered in rust and dirt, and this is understandable because the knife was never serviced, only lubricated from the outside. This is the condition of the two copper and two Teflon washers. I don't have a wide range of tools to choose from, so I decided to remove the rust with sandpaper with lunar readiness. You see the result before. And here is a small but still improvement after. I also lightly polished the G10 overlays with sandpaper and degreased them with an alcohol solution, which I felt was a little better. I didn't touch the blade as it was covered with rust a long time ago, but it looks quite noble, so I only removed the rust around the hole for the axial screw. For the axial screw, indeed, the blade already needs sharpening, but such steel is difficult to sharpen at home. More on that in the next video. So, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Over the years, the copper washers have developed an oxidized layer. There is a bit of damage. Admittedly, I must have tightened the main screw too much a few times. The detent ball presented the biggest challenge. After many years, it has worn down almost 40%, because every time the knife was opened, it was rubbing against the high carbon steel. It would be best to install a ceramic ball here, but I don't have one, so we'll just reposition it by fitting it into the correct hole, with the opposite side facing up. Doing this is not too complicated. You just need to find an appropriate surface, a chisel or a similar tool of the right diameter. Then carefully knock the ball out with a firm short blow. It didn't work for me the first time, but fortunately you don't have to watch that. Here's how the ball looked when I removed it. And as you can see, almost half of it has worn away. But I'll just put it. I fixed the ball back into the hole with the opposite side and fixed the ball with the same short but confident blow. And now let's move on to assembling the knife. By the way, I forgot to say about Teflon washers, I also returned them to the knife regardless of their condition. This material is quite durable and by far has the best slip coefficient, so I also just wiped it with an alcohol solution before installation, I think. There is no point in explaining the assembly process, we just put the parts back in their places, having previously lubricated all the moving parts with oil. However, I still made one mistake during assembly, friends who saw it. Write about it in the comments. I will be grateful for your recommendations. Well, this is how the knife looks after my improvised repair. Despite my age, it still flips beautifully and there's no backlash. Blade perfectly fits into place in the center thanks to the detent ball and the optimal tightening of the axial screw. And of course, due to the fact that later I corrected my mistake, which you could see in the video, when assembling the knife, as you can see, when the liner lock is withdrawn, the blade falls under its weight. Everything is as it should be. Or is it possible? Did I miss something? 